I recently met a young couple in one of the bays we anchored. They didn't come out of their cabin very often. And I found out it was the work which kept them inside. They live a new, a very interesting life concept, the boat office. They work and support small companies that are in the process of growth. It all works remotely, so it doesn't matter where in the world they work from. Only the time change and sometimes finding the good internet connections can be a challenge. Let's hear the details and I tell you, it's very interesting and fun at the same time. Welcome to Sailor's Life. Today I'm on Companion, a 13 meter Reinke. Let's meet the owners. Matthias is Austrian and Pauline is German with a Polish background. Hi Pauli, hi Matthias. Hey guys. Hey there. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thanks to let me look into your life. How old are you guys? 33. Me too. Since when are you living on the boat? 2019. Yes, it was in May. And what was your route? So we basically started in the Baltic Sea. We went all around uh, Europe, down to Cape Verde, over the Atlantic, into the Caribbean Sea. Then we crossed the channel. Now we're here in the beautiful French Polynesian Islands. And where did you spend COVID time? Colombia, one in ten year of really harsh quarantine. But yeah, we made the best out of it, I think. Okay, so this is an aluminium boat, is it? Yes, this here is a Reinke 13M. It's an East German design from 2004 built. And it's very heavy, very stable, certainly not for design and for racing, but it is a very, very strong boat for the all the seas of this planet. How much did you pay for it? Well, we paid 45 grand, but we had to invest at least that same amount again. I think we invested even a little bit more, so every boat comes at a price. And did you do you still work on it? <laughs> it never stops. Is it the right boat for you? It's certainly the right boat for us in this period of life. Um, I think we enjoyed every mile we sailed, uh, with the good and the bad parts, and then whatever comes next, we'll see. What were your most challenging experiences? So I would say this was that we didn't do a refit at first. We were just starting and we did a refit whilst we were entertaining friends, while sailing down to uh, Cape Verdes, whilst also having to repair the boat big time plus, whilst also building a business. Uh, that was quite an intense first year, I'd say. What were the most dangerous experiences? Yeah, funny enough, we did 34 days of Pacific crossing, which was super easy, really pleasant experience. And then we had a just five mile sail from Daniels Bay in Nukuhiva to another bay because we were just on the lookout for internet. And this turned out into almost a complete disaster. We almost lost our boat because uh, we had really heavy winds, really heavy currents and a not so strong engine. So yeah, we barely made it out of the bay. We're pretty concerned and once we've done this five mile sail back to the other bay, our engine died. So every sail, no matter how short or long it is, could be your last one. Let's talk about money, because that's what people want to know most about. At least this is the most frequently asked question. So, but yes, <laughs> can you talk about money? <laughs> yes, so the question we get asked all the time is how much money do you need? Uh, do you need to be a millionaire? The answer is no. There is, of course, for every person, a different answer. I would say you will need at least 1,000 euros per person for a really pleasant life. And this includes everything starting from your insurance. This includes also food. This also includes the expenses for your boat, plus drinks and dinners if you want to do that stuff. This is the least, I would say. And then, of course, from there, you can go up into the tens of thousands per month. But for the two of us, we need roughly over the last four years, every month, we had around 2,000 euros, all costs included. You work while you go. So how is that possible? Can you give other people some tips? Yes, of course. So in general, the way how to make money is either an active or it's passive. Active would mean you're still working either in a normal environment. So for example, uh, remote working is very on vogue right now after Corona. So this can be done easily. There's no excuse not to do it. You can also work boat related. That would be, you would be a captain or you would uh, be crew or you would also do boat work for other people. There's also a lot of uh, jobs which can be done in that field. And the passive side would mean that you either have invested uh, some money or you already uh, have, let's say, a house somewhere which you can rent out or um, you just inherited something from somebody and then you can use this money to fund your life. 
How are you personally earned your money here on board? Yes, so the passive side wasn't an option for us, which is why we're still very much active and we just reactivated the jobs which we had earlier. So we are working remotely from this boat. The boat is our office. Shall I just show you how that looks like? Oh, it would be great. Let's have a look. Okay, let's go inside. Let's go. <laughs> cool. I'm going to show you where one of our workplaces is. So, as you can see, our boat is well structured, so you have a really good breeze of wind coming from above, and one of us can always work here uh, with a laptop set up, with an additional fan, and yeah, having some quiet sun focusing on our clients. This is where I tend to sit. And what is uh, your work you're doing here on board? Uh, so what I do is I'm working together with young companies and I support young companies in building digital products, which is mostly either websites or applications. I'm sure you all have either WhatsApp or whatever application on your phone. So that's what I support young companies with. So we're building what you end up using on your phone. Yeah, and I'm doing this remote from here, working together with mostly German companies. How do you get your clients? Um, I'm still benefiting from a network that I um, had throughout my study program. So I'm getting in touch with these people or I use a lot of LinkedIn, either communication or advertisements where people come and reach out to me and ask me, hey, are you available? And this is how we get to know each other and we start projects based on, yeah, this first touch uh, point in contact. Are you uh, working together with Matthias or are these two different kind of jobs? No, we do two different kinds of jobs. We live together, we work together, but in separate areas. And I'm sure he's really willing to show you his kind of job. So I'm going to go around and have a look where Matthias is working. Okay. <laughs> Coming up here through the kitchen. Welcome in my office. <laughs> oh, look, so, that looks really professional here. Yes. All this equipment. I'm impressed. Well, what you're basically seeing here is a video studio. It's not full yet because normally there would be a green screen behind me. But I have some lights set up, my cameras up here and my screens up here. Because what we're also building right now is digital products. So that means we are now taking all our knowledge, all our blueprints and frameworks, which we have built, which are very valuable for our customers, and put that into a video format, which is why we're actually now building that passive income, which I was referring to earlier. So this here is our floating office. For us, the only thing which we need is electricity, but we've built a very big solar system and a big battery. So this problem is solved. In addition to this, we need silence. But since this here is a working boat, we have a lot of silence. And thirdly, we need internet which is why we're always very close to big antennas. And those antennas are very good these days, so we never have an issue. So far, we went to French Polynesia, and in French Polynesia, we have better internet than in the heart of Berlin, can you imagine? Yes, what exactly is your work then? So I'm also working with young companies like Claudine Set, aka Startups. My clients, they always have 20 employees, and they now want to grow into 100 employees. And when they do that, they need to invest a lot into their people, a lot into their processes, a lot into the tools they're using. Plus, they need also to build a lot of content. And I help them to do this for the sales team. So I'm building a sales team out of the box and I'm building everything from beginning to the end with them. So that once I go out, they have their salespeople, they know what they are doing and they know the processes that they need to know. Plus, they have all the tools implemented so that they can then grow up to 100 people or 200 people. Plus, I also started to invest in those companies as well. So this is another source of passive income, uh, which I'm also generating at this point. Would you tell us how much money you earn with this kind of work? Yes, I can gladly give some uh, guidance as well. So you should, if, if you're a freelancer, receive at least 30% more than you're earning right now in your work. And this is covering for the risk which you have, but also for potential downtimes in case you're sick. So the 30% more is the minimum. But from this point forward, it is pretty much open-end. Yeah? Because if you now either increase your daily rates yeah, or if you build up products as well, then you will increase your upside. And the upside is pretty much indefinite. So there's people out there who do this and they make millions a year. Um, we certainly don't, but we are working and we are on our trajectory to get there one day. Do you think every young person who wants to go out sailing can find a job and can do some kind of work? While they go? I would say definitely yes. I mean, there are millions of reasons why you shouldn't be doing this. And this is the reason why most of the people who have this dream never start to sail. And by the way, lifting the anchor the first time is the hardest part of it all. The rest will work out some way. 
it will be tough it will be hard for sure but you will find the way and the money aspect is not an excuse anymore these days especially after corona all the doors are open uh, we have been living this life for quite a long time and we have quite humble origins um, we have never been entrepreneurs in our lives our parents haven't been that either but there is a way if your heart is strong enough and if you embark on the journey it's not easy but it can work out and especially if you want to learn how you can bring value on the table then there is lots of inspiration sources you can get knowledge from like youtube how uh, many percent of this life is work for you and how many percent of your life is pleasure that's a good question to begin with um i would say there is two types of work we do work to burn money and work to uh, earn money because we are working on average i would say 14 hours every month where we're just keeping the boat alive because there's so many systems i think we have had to learn 17 or 18 different jobs just to keep this show running this requires a lot of time and, and money uh, on the other hand uh, we are also working to earn money but then having said that right now we are already now realizing that we are not working anymore because we have to make money to make this whole thing work but we're now kind of having and yielding the fruits of our labor from the last years um, and uh, having said that again we work uh, four days a week uh, four to five days a week and on those uh, four days it's very intense we wake up at 4 a.m in the morning and we work until 9 10 p.m i'd say uh, but then again not because we have to but really because we love to do it so i wouldn't call it work for me it's actually pleasure um, i love to do it because i am able here to work with people back in europe um, who are super motivated who are building companies and i'm able to participate in that and that's a uh, it's, it's a it's a huge relief um, to be able to not only work physically here with my hands on the boat and to be here in french polynesia but also to be mentally uh, back in those beautiful young companies where there's an immense drive and where we're building the future. But apart from that, I guess you still have hobbies. Well, we do have the luxury situation that we can make our outside uh, an entire hobby. So we spend a lot of time in the water, we go free diving, we go diving, we go out with friends in terms of we're making bonfires at the beach, we're exploring nature, we're exploring here the mountains in Morea. Uh, I started the yoga thing, the photography photography thing, and what else there is. I mean, there's so much. Yeah, we're building a lot of stuff. Yeah, not only companies, not only the boats. Uh, yeah, we're doing also other stuff. I just see my spear gun over there, which we also built. Um, yeah. And there's many, many other things which I cannot recall right now. I bet a lot of people at home are thinking that you sit on the beach with cocktails most of the time. What is the reality? I think the reality is that we're not <laughs> awake until 3 a.m. in the morning because we're drinking beer, but because our clients are working in Germany and when it's 3 a.m. in the morning here, it's 3 p.m. in Germany. So we got to work throughout the night and we're not really having time for extensive drinking sessions on the beach. How does a relationship work 24-7, living on a boat, yeah, which is a small room and working together on top? Trump. Well, he told me I should say I'm super happy. <laughs> <laughs> when he said just before maybe the, our parents um, but the truth is uh, it works for us well why um, I believe it's because we have similar aspiration when it comes to work and sailing life so we always so far found um, similar balance and similar needs in terms of what you call work-life balance and what we call pleasure pleasure balance kind of um, this is one really good thing. I think this is what makes it work a lot. And we give each other a lot of space when it comes to this. Because for me, some of the most important reasons, actually. Okay. What would you say? Well, this is now some philosophy. I'm going to spare you from this. But I would say, in a nutshell, Paulina makes me love myself a lot. And this is uh, a realization which came into my life on my 30th birthday, when we actually bought the boat. And this was that whenever she's with me, I'm very happy because she's making me a real genuine person and she helps me to explore more who I am. She also understands my struggles. She understands my fears, my anxiety, and she's helping me a lot to mature as a person. And uh, therefore, it never has been real work. It is certainly not fucking easy and it's certainly not for everybody. But um, I would say that I really, really enjoy that time with you because I really love myself when you're there and I I'm increasing my energy all the time, so for that, thank you very, very much. Plus, we even have a money fest for our relationship. And one of the things which you definitely need is clarity. That means 
Well, yeah. put the finger where it hurts the most and talk about what there is, not what you like to have. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to live long as a, as a... As a human being. As a human being yeah. uh, together in such a small, confined space whilst having, I don't know how many jobs at the same time. I think, yeah, like putting things on the table always, um, whether they're yeah. nice or shitty, uh, always works out. Yeah. Well, if I listen to that, you could even be a coach for relationships. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you might. This is a new income stream. <laughs> yeah. Why are you living this life instead a normal life like most of your friends and family at home? For me, it's certainly, um, I get two very important things out of this. So um, I get a lot of energy from being in nature and being on fresh air all the time. I kind of got addicted to it. So whenever we close the windows, I feel like I'm, I need to get fresh air. This is one. I love nature and second is I love to thrive in a community and in the sailing world you get to know your neighbors whenever you anchor in a new spot. You get to know different people from different backgrounds. There is no limit to your professional oh, life yeah. or whatsoever. So this is what I really, these are the two things that I personally really love. Well, and as for me, I would say two thoughts are important for me. One, lifetime. It gets less, less. Uh, it gets less, less, less as we speak. Every sing single cycle is indefinitely valuable. Therefore, making sure that I've used this time uh, is important. Point two would be the concept of flow, which basically just means this life here helps me by design, very naturally, to trigger what I need to increase my energy level. And with this increased energy level, I can now suddenly build companies easier than ever before in my life before because I just have so much energy available. I'm focusing on what increased my value and I cut away all the waste, all the pain I had before. Uh, and this really, really helps me to be a better human and um, to help others to achieve their goals as well. Are your parents proud of you? Oh, that's a good question, Paulina. I hope deep down they are, but they're certainly in a big conflict with themselves when they see me or us being so far away from home, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. So it's a mixed feeling, I'd say, but I hope deep down they're proud and I feel I kind of sense it maybe sometimes. I am sure they are. And I can also say that the only reason why we're here is because they have given us so much skills and talents and a, a heart on the right place and a, a brain uh, as well somewhere. Uh, we couldn't do that without them. At the same time, it's of course also difficult because we are so far away and we, the more we do this, the more we are hooked. Therefore, uh, yeah, I think they are, but it is hard. So tell me when you earn more money, will you go for a bigger boat? Maybe if we grow the crew, at some point we would crave for a bigger boat, but for now it's fine. Yeah. Okay, just short. <laughs> what skills are important for a circumnavigation? Problem solving. <laughs> Good question. You have to be a handyman and handy woman. Uh, get your shit done. Uh, learn, 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 learn. Be curious and talk to people. Do you spend more time sailing or anchoring? Anchoring? By far. 89, 98% uh, of our life is at anchor. What is your coolest story so far? We enjoyed Sun Blast a lot, where we got invited. So first of all, in Sun Blast, the Kuna idea is very amazing to live with. And they came always to charge their phone, so Matthias cut their hair one day. As a thank you, they invited us for a traditional dinner. So we had a very traditional dinner and a game night with the Kunas. I really loved that. Do you recommend this lifestyle to other people? No, nope. not at all. <laughs> it is fucking hard. But if you want to have an intense lifestyle, for sure. You can get a lot of joy out of it. Did you ever regret it? There are many, many bumps in this boat because I literally was punching the boat. I was hammering the boat. So yes, I regretted it often. But then at the same time, when I realized what kind of came out of it and how I grew after it, no, not at all. If I die, this will never ever be the regret that I embarked on this journey. Yeah, I agree. And there are ups and downs, but I never had a deep regret thinking I should have done this. Never. Just the opposite. I just did it a little bit too late. What's next? What are your plans? Yeah, so we plan to grow. So grow business-wise, um, grow as a family, grow from ocean to land. So we were always thinking to expand this lifestyle to a piece of land, maybe in Portugal, maybe New Zealand, maybe somewhere else on Earth too. 
yeah, to prove to ourselves and maybe also to others that there is a way of living a sustainable life on land by sustaining yourself through veggies, fruits, animals around and, you know, solar panel, a solid solar panel that is supporting your electricity at home. So this is what we're dreaming of next. And since it is boiling hot, the immediate next thing will be that we have one drink and we are always sharing one drink only maximum a day. But this drink is now for you, Jutta. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And this drink here, guys, is for you. Because we hope that this conversation has probably and hopefully helped you in some way. So cheers to you and we hope that we see you very soon in this life. In cheers. this day. Cheers. Cheers! You have to cheers first! <laughs> if you have any more questions that we haven't discussed yet, please write them in the comments so that I can ask my next interview partners about them. Subscribe my channel Sales Life if you want to hear more facts, experiences and stories. Give me a thumb up and press the bell if you don't want to miss any of these informations.